Hello and welcome or welcome back to my kitchen. Um, thanks for joining me today. Uh, <laughs> unnecessary. So today I'm showing you another recipe that I am really excited about because it's another classic um, in kind of like Arab and Iraqi cuisine. Uh, I think more so Iraqi cuisine, but I think other and other Arab cuisines they eat also. Basically, uh, the dish is we call it margat spenag or just spenag, and spenag is just the Arabic word for spinach. And we just use frozen spinach, one bag of frozen spinach. Um, you could, of course, use fresh, but it's a little bit of a nuisance because it's like it's not the small uh, baby spinach that you kind of wilt down. Um, but it's the big spinach so you need to obviously use a lot because it totally wilts down compared to how much you start off with and it's a lot to chop up and stuff I'm just being lazy basically and it's convenient to obviously just keep a bag of frozen spinach in the freezer whenever we want to whip this up so uh, the as you can see the ingredients for the spinach are of course the spinach uh, we've got just one onion uh, and then I've also got this is around half of a bunch of uh, dill that we just had stored in the freezer so again of course you could use fresh we just like to get it and store in the freezer whenever we want to make this and then like I said I've got my chickpeas I have of course some salt some olive oil and this little ingredient here um, is one of those things that if you're not familiar with kind of um, Arab cuisine you may not be familiar with. So what this is, we call it nomi basra in Arabic and it's basically dried limes. Um, I kind of can't believe this is dried limes because it's so, I mean, I don't know, I don't know how they get it like this to be honest, like dehydrated or whatever, but the smell is kind of, you can still smell that it's citrusy but it's more of a kind of bitter citrus so you don't want to use too much of this but just the right amount gives great flavour to a lot of dishes, like this one. And then, so this is obviously whole nomi basra, and then I've also got some powdered um, or ground nomi basra here uh, that I'm going to add in at the end just to give it a bit more depth of that kind of citrusy flavour. Uh, so yeah, that's all the ingredients again, pretty simple, basic, but very tasty. So I don't know why I keep doing this. Um, so yeah, I'm really hungry now, so let's get into this. Cool, so I've just finely chopped up my onion. Uh, I want it to be quite fine because I don't want the onion to really kind of show in the dish. I just want uh, fine pieces to just for the flavor rather than having chunks of onions in there. So I've just turned on my cooker to high heat, number six. Uh, and once that is heated up just a little bit, I'm gonna add just a couple of tablespoons. Whew, sorry, I don't know what happened there. Oh, I got out of breath. I'm gonna add just a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. You can use whatever cooking oil of your choice, vegetable oil, sunflower oil, sunflower oil, whatever. Let's have one. Let's have dos. I'm just going to add in my finely chopped onions, or just one onion. Cool. So I'm just gonna let the onions cook, saute for a few minutes, just let them soften and get nice and translucent. I'm just going to keep stirring it so it doesn't burn because I do have it still on a high heat. Okay, I'm going to add in the dill. Like I said, it was frozen. I let it defrost a little bit to be honest. It's not completely defrosted, but that's fine. It'll melt. Okay, so the dill has been in there for just about a minute and I've been constantly stirring. At this point, I'm just going to add in one of these dried limes. And now I'm just going to add in my frozen spinach, which to be honest, I should have let it defrost for a bit longer, but I didn't. So I'm just sticking it in. It's still pretty frozen, but it will do. Okay, so I'm going to add in just a splash of hot water at this point. And at this point, I'm going to season with some salt. Cool. So that's obviously starting to boil now, so I'm just going to reduce that to a simmer or number two and I'm going to cover it fully and I'm just going to let that cook for probably around 15-20 minutes or so and in the meantime, like in the Bamiya video, I'm just going to make 
some rice to serve along with it because again this is something that you normally wouldn't eat on its own you would normally eat it with okay, rice cool. so the spinach has been cooking for about 15 minutes or so i did after about 10 minutes um just stir it around a little bit and added a little bit more salt because i tasted it and felt that it needed a little bit more so at this point i am going to add in about a tablespoon of this ground um dried lime uh, so about that much it's maybe just less than a tablespoon i think that is good just kind of stick that in there so i'm adding this obviously towards the end of the cooking time so that you know you can get a good hit of that kind of it's like a it's a, it's a kind of slightly bitter citrusy flavor that it gives um it smells really good so now i'm just gonna add in my chickpeas or cool so i had the heat on two but i'm just gonna stick it down to one now because it's pretty much done i'm just gonna let the chickpeas kind of heat up and infuse with the spinach and the dried lime cool so i let my spinach stew uh, cook for another five minutes or so with the chickpeas and the ground dried lime added uh, and once it was cooked i turned off the heat while my rice was finishing cooking off and i'm just gonna serve it up and i'm so excited I really hope that you guys enjoyed the recipe and thank you so much for watching. Uh, I did want to say something. Ah, so in terms of the Nomi Basra, the dried lime, uh, that's again one of those ingredients that you can find at all, pretty much all Arab and Asian grocery shops. When I say Asian grocery shops, I'm not talking about like Chinese and East Asian um, shops and markets. I'm talking about, you know, uh, Desi shops, like South Asian. For me, a little very simple side salad is a must with market spinach with, with pretty much any market to be honest but especially with market spinach um yeah i guess there's not much else to say thank you for watching and hope you try it and that you love it and happy eating i just stopped recording and realized that i didn't even do a taste test no one cares probably but i'm gonna do it anyway um cool okay Mm.